Hey guys, welcome to Troll Country Only. I'll be locked to this region with the main interest being God Wars Dungeon. It contains four bosses who drop pieces of some of the most iconic weapons in the game, the God Swords. My goal is to create all four. As a psychopath, I decided this would best be done as an ultimate Ironman, which means no banking or trading. My sanity might be tested, but despite how agonizing it gets, those swords will be mine. The rules I'll be following are pretty straightforward. The primary rule is that I cannot leave my area. I am allowed to fully utilize the underground portions of the map, except when being transported to a new region that isn't within my area. For example, I am allowed to access God Wars Dungeon and Keldegrim, but I cannot use the Keldegrim minecart system because it brings me to a different part of the map. I've decided to constrain myself within these chunks rather than solely using the Troll Country map as a guideline for two main reasons. Thanks to some neat Runelite plugins, I can see the border of my area, which looks absolutely awesome. Since these plugins draw a literal line, there will be zero ambiguity with where I can stand in game. The other reason is that it slightly expands my region to add two essential locations that are needed for progression on the account. With that being said, let's talk about the exceptions required to make the account possible. The majority of the chunks were chosen because they were in Troll Country, but I had to add three additional chunks to make the goal of getting all the God Swords achievable. The first two chunks being the City of Birthorp. The city is heavily intertwined in the Troll Quest line, and is required to even access Troll Country. Birthorp will also act as my starting area since I won't have access to the other chunks until I get further into the quest line. The third chunk added contains the Fremnix Slayer dungeon. I needed to include this dungeon because of a single monster, Cave Crawlers. They have a very unique drop table mainly consisting of herblore ingredients, with the notable drop being Snapegrass. Snapegrass is used to make prayer potions, which will be a needed tool to take on the God Wars bosses. Moving past the chunks, I completed Druidic Ritual to unlock herblore. While completing the quest, I gained a range level which is kinda scuffed. I originally looked into getting 32 thieving to get a poison dagger from rogues, but after realizing that the first few thieving levels would be extremely hard to get within my area, I decided a single range level would be way less impactful. I also purchased the house and will start with a saw in my inventory to unlock construction. The remaining exceptions are requirements for completing three essential quests that unlock the majority of content within the area. Death Plateau, Troll Stronghold, and Troll Romance. The items required for completing the quests that I don't have access to in my area are two iron bars, ten bread, a rope, a cake tin, swamp tar, a bucket of wax, and maple or u-logs. Thankfully, all those items were easily obtained other than the logs. While both logs are on certain monsters' drop tables, the amount of combat XP I would gain going for those drops seemed to outweigh the impact of getting the woodcutting level. So with that in mind, I got 45 woodcutting and some maple logs. 15 agility is also needed to climb over these rocks to complete the quests. And without a way to train agility in my starting area, I had to get those levels elsewhere. At the moment, it seems that those will be the only exceptions, but if an unforeseen update or problem arises, I may add more for the sake of content. Before I could make any progress on an account, I had to make sure that my first Slayer task would give me enough XP to get to 10 Slayer, the requirement for Cave Crawlers. I had to line that up first, because when I get locked to a task that I can't complete, the only way I can gain Slayer XP is through Genie and Dunce random events, which I'd like to save for other skills that I can't train within my area. The best starting task I can get is Goblins, because General Grador's bodyguards count, and they would be the most Slayer XP I could get from the possible starting tasks. Turiel can assign 5 different monsters and varying amounts to a fresh account, and if I get any other task other than Goblins, I'd need to bond up another account and try again. To my disbelief, I got 28 Goblins on my first try. Oh! Oh, I clicked over it! Oh, I got 28 Goblins! Let's go! If I only slay the bodyguard with the most hit points, I should get 19 Slayer, which should be more than enough. I decided to get another Slayer task on a different, fresh bonded up account since I got so lucky the first time, and weirdly enough, I got exactly 28 goblins again. What? I got 28 goblins again? What the hell? What? What is going on? There's no way. I don't know what the odds were for that to happen, but I saw this as fate and decided to stop pushing my luck. With my Slayer task, stats, and starting inventory ready, it's time to get those God Swords. Alright, now that we got all of the exceptions out of the way, it is finally time to start the account. I am actually so excited. So the first thing that I'm going to do on the account is get rid of this awful name. I'm going to change it from an awful one to a stupid one. Stop. 
lock it in. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Awesome. That, all right, that is so much better than looking at that ugly name. All right, so the first thing I want to do on the account actually is going to be to get uh, rid of all of these items, which means I'm going to have to complete all the quests in my way. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just hit this dummy. Uh, there's the first level on the account within my chunks. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is food is pretty hard to come by in this little starting area I have here. There's an Asgardian ale spawn right there, and uh, this guy sells it too. But beyond that, there really isn't much else that I could see in terms of food. So I'm going to be training my combat skills to try to make sure the lower level NPCs are easy enough to train on to where I won't run into too many issues with uh, needing to reheal. So the first big obstacle ahead of me right now is going to be Death Plateau. Like I said, I want to complete the three major quests I laid out, Death Plateau, uh, Troll Stronghold, and Troll Romance. Once I get all three of those quests done, the only thing I will have to carry in this inventory for a while is going to be this saw. So that is going to be so freeing. And then eventually, once I get the hunter level to catch implings, I will uh, be able to build something that means I can get rid of that saw. So that'll be, and then I can have a pure inventory. So with Death Plateau in mind, um, I actually need to get into the Warriors Guild because uh, one of the item requirements is 10 trout. And the only way I have the ability to get 10 trout is buying it through the food shop in the Warriors Guild. Not only will that unlock just be huge for food um, and I can get defenders and stuff, uh, but I will finally be able to actually progress through all these quests, which will be super cool. Ooh, okay, I almost attacked that guy. He was walking right past here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to turn attack options to always right click. That's player. Whoops. There we go. Always right click. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> my goodness, man. Ooh, all right. This is going to be the first uh, random on the account here. Um, I think I can get a gold bar from him, so... I'll do it. I don't know if I have a use for a gold bar right now or if I even have the ability to do anything with it. But, uh, you know, I'll do it. No reason not to, right? Oh, I got a ring. Epic. <laughs> okay. All right. Got some bling. Not too bad. Alrighty. We're going to be closing in on eight attack on the account. One more hit should do it. There we go, 8 attack. Why is the message so delayed? There we go. Oh, and total level 100. Kind of cool. So it turns out 8 is actually the limit where you can't learn anything more from these dummies. So, I guess that actually means that they only have 8 attack? Uh, kind of weird. Anyway, uh, we are going to be attacking these people because they are the lowest level here in Birthorp. Uh, hopefully they don't give me too much trouble. Um, I should be training strength actually. And uh, the main thing we want to get from these guys are runes, because I think I'm going to need magic to complete a lot of the quests uh, via safe spotting. And I'm going to be looking for just weapon and armor upgrades. So I think like these people drop an iron dagger and a bronze med helm. So uh, those will be kind of nice, I guess. Dang, this guy's wrecking me. I'm getting wrecked. No, I have eight attack. Come on. Oh my goodness, man. Please get him. Oh my goodness. I have to run! I Oh, that is so upsetting. I should have got some food. Uh, okay, he just runs away. What a kind guy, you know? Anyway, let's take this ale. Um, I'm gonna hop worlds to grab another one so I can heal up a little bit. And then I'll hop back because I have damage on that, uh, guy in the prior world. Man, this is, uh, this is gonna be rough. Uh, so these heal one. Wow, wait, I thought they hit a little more. Okay. That is not very much. Uh, it lowers my attack. It does up my strength. Oh, and I'm not looking to talk. Dang, he's destroying me, dude. Oh, I have to run again. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is, uh, this is gonna be something. Um, once I get some money on the account, I can just trade this guy instead of having to hop worlds. I guess I'm just going to get a full inventory. All right, we are healed up enough and uh, got some food. Hopefully we can take him. Hopefully he hasn't regen too much health. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think 
these guys are level five. I think uh, there's a level four over there that I should look into uh, attacking because they might have less health or they have less. I don't know. I'll look into it. I have zero attack. <laughs> Love it. You can damage with zero attack, right? I I sure hope you can. <laughs> That's actually not something I know. Oh my gosh, I'm getting wrecked. I should heal up while I have zero attack. Oh my gosh, he's wrecking me. Oh my gosh, dude. Every hit is an ale, man. Okay, I did just hit, so we should be fine. Two health, come on. Come on, we can do this. He's two, I'm five. Oh man. Why is this so close? He regen. Okay, it's back to two, back to two. Oh my goodness, man. What health, we could do it. Head up. Am I gonna have to flinch him? Oh my gosh, I'm flinching him. <laughs> this is absurd. This is actually absurd, man. Come on, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Got an herb. Uh, not very useful to me at the moment. Um, something I should actually see. Do these sell for anything? The corn probably will. But uh, I don't know about the beer glass and the bones. The beer glass probably will not, right? Yeah, great. Oh, eight? Are you kidding me, man? I gotta do it. I need money. And then bones sell for zero. Okay, so we definitely bear the bones. Whew, that was a battle. But yeah, this is one of the level fours I was talking about. Um, oh, it needs to back up quick. All right, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but so the early goal, like I said, is to get into the Warriors Guild. And the Warriors Guild has a requirement of 130 total levels between your attack and strength or having a 99 in either. So it's going to be a lot easier to get 65 in both. So that is the current goal. Uh, with how rough that went, um, this is going to be uh, interesting. Uh, let me see the price of each. Two. Okay, so I'll save the coins for now and definitely just hop and get these Um, I might explore a little bit and see if there's any item spawns I can pick up and sell and see uh, If I can make some moolah. Oh my goodness. I just had a realization So if I start death plateau, I think I can get to the point where I can progress to talk to Tenzin and I can train on his chickens Oh, that is such a lifesaver. I can even probably cook the chickens on that fire. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think of this before. I don't think it's going to let me in. Yeah, no milk today. Okay. Yeah, I was exploring. The only items I could even come up with to try to find to sell were uh, the stone balls, which you use for the Death Plateau quest, the Asgardian ale, which I was picking up before, and a recipe from a bookshelf for chocolate cake, um, which you can't even drop, so I doubt you can sell it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to sell this stuff, but uh, I doubt any of it's going to have any value. You cannot sell this item. Perfect. You cannot sell this item. Perfect. Ah, zero. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. Let's destroy that. Anyway, actually, I'll take the ale. Anyway, let's go start Death Plateau. Uh, hopefully, I can progress that far where he'll let me in. I'm pretty sure I can. There we go, quest started. All right, so the main thing I just realized is I'm gonna actually need a decent amount of luck and a decent amount of money to progress to the point where I can get to Tenzin because I have to do the gambling part of the quest, which I think requires me to have at least 60 coins. I guess I'm gonna go grind 60 coins real quick and then go ahead and start with the quest. All right, I just topped off on some ale, and I did find out that uh, the level fours do have uh, less stats. I think they just have one less strength or something. Speaking of strength, there's a level. All right, looks like I'm going to need a full inventory of ale for each kill, which is going to be fun. Um, hopefully, I get some RNG and some drops to get uh, 60 coins, but uh, we'll see. Clean. Ooh, I wonder what copper ore sells for. Let's go take a look, see? That is actually one thing that is unfortunate. I have the ability to get copper ore, but not tin ore. 
So I don't have the ability to train smithing. Let's see. Uh, I guess. There you go. <laughs> While I was picking things up, I just had the idea like, wait, I wonder if I could sell the ale to this guy, you know, because they, they might want it. It's maybe more useful to them than other people. They sell it. No, they don't care. Which I guess, you know, I mean, he doesn't care that I'm picking up a free one right in front of him, so it kind of makes sense. All right, just got some bronze bolts. Let's see. Uh, it is five of them, which is nice. Uh, let's see what you buy it for. <sighs> I guess I can equip them. Uh, that knight is kind of weird. So on the wiki, it says white knights drop iron bars. So I was originally planning on maging this guy because he walks close enough to the barrier where I could telegrab his stuff. But for whatever reason, this specific white knight doesn't drop anything, which is insane. I don't know why. It's so dumb. Uh, th that would have made things a lot easier, but uh, well, I guess not easier, but it would have made things a lot purer. But instead, I had to bring uh, the iron bars here. If I did have access to that iron bar, actually, I believe I would have been able to build a range in my house to cook bread. And I could have gotten the ingredients uh, from him as well, because I think he also drops some um, flour. Yeah. And then I just need to add the water to the flour and I could have used a range in my house. So that was one possibility. But unfortunately, that white knight just doesn't drop anything, which is weird, but I'll live with it. Alrighty, we got a HP level and a strength level, I think. Uh, definitely an HP level. But I just had a realization. Um, hopefully it pans out. Uh, I feel a little dumb for not thinking about this earlier. We'll see how much the uh, Avento costs, but I also forgot I got the gold ring. Um, so we'll see how much that is. Uh, we'll see. Come on. Value. Oh, 140. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. That's so nice. Um, we'll sell both because I need the inventory space. Oh, I didn't think of that. Why didn't I think of that? Alrighty, Harold. Give him the ale. Alright, so this is the point where I have to gamble with him. So when I did this on my test account, I actually got pretty lucky and just bet like 1k. And uh, normally when you progress through this quest, you can give him a drink, which uh, rigs the rolls. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have access to that. And that is a win, which is good. All right, so now we're at 260, that's good. Now I think we wanna just keep doing 100. All right, winning that first bet is huge. Let's see. Hopefully it won't be here too long. That's a low roll, that's really good. That's, all right, that's average. Seven, I think, is the most likely number you get from a die. That's huge. Is, oh, let's go, man. Oh my gosh, thank you. I could have been here for so long. I am so happy. Oh, I'm so happy that that uh, was not a huge deal. All right, now with that, I can do the storage room part. Get all these balls. Door opens. Talk to the archer. Make sure not to attack him. I don't know if I actually have to read the combination. All right, now I gotta talk to Saba. Hello. All right, and I believe with that, I will have the ability to get in Tenzin's house, which is huge. Let's see it. Boom. Knock on the door. Oh yeah, got the continued dialogue, let's go. All right, now I'm at the point of the quest where I need 10 loaves of bread and 10 cooked trout. I think I'm gonna skip that for now um, because he's gonna give me the boots. Oh no, actually I can do the boot part right now. So technically these climbing boots are taking up an extra inventory space, which I can't wear, which kind of sucks until the quest is done. Um, but I'm going to use an iron bar to put spikes on them, so it'll even out the inventory spaces, and I'll progress through the quest as much as I can. I bet you guys didn't know about my uh, sneaky little shortcut behind the castle. Wait, why are you... No, go. <laughs> okay, I was like, wait, did they get rid of this? I remember doing this in the past. 
There we go. Cool. What? What is happening? I guess when it's an unloaded chunk, it makes you want to run around. All right, so now I need to get his son into the Imperial Guard. You know what I think I just realized? So the reason why it says you can't put on the climbing boots right now is because the Sherpa's feet must be very small and I can't get them on. I'm pretty sure that's what it says when you buy them off of the Grand Exchange as well. Do my feet just magically shrink after completing the quest? Anyway, let's get this guy's certificate. Boom. Okay, so he got rid of one inventory space and replaced it with these. No problem. Okay, and I don't think I can put these on either. I'll test it, but... Yeah, okay, that, that one's more fair, to be honest. <laughs> Alrighty, now we are back. I'm going to talk to him to see if I could somehow give him the boots, but uh, I doubt it. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could give him the boots and the bread and free up my freaking inventory. What? No! Oh, he doesn't let you through there until you complete the quest. No! That is actually so unfortunate, dude. Alright, I don't think I need this anymore, so I'm going to drop it. But, uh, man, that is... That really is a shame. Ooh, just got my first little upgrade. Man. Woo, that is some style. Does anyone have any clue how to pronounce that name? I don't even want to try. People around here got some uh, interesting names. All right, I uh, just swapped over to training defense because I am getting wrecked by these ladies. Um, but I just got an easy clue, and that is not one I can do. Oh, well. <laughs> this dude's just looking at me. Hi. Hi. How comes you not got full armor? Making a region locked account. This is the best armor I have at the moment, Smiley. Ah, fair play. Oh, I uh, was literally just about to log out. I was AFKing to heal. And I was going to say I got a random event. I didn't know they would disappear when you talked to them. Okay, that is good intel. I had no clue they would just leave. Huh. <laughs> good to know. Look at this guy just flexing on me. I'm so jealous, man. What a legend. Goodbye. Ooh, an event. I don't know what I even want from this guy. The ring was some nice money, but uh, I might be able to use a bar. Okay, good. Bar, bar. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have any use for a gold bar right now. Yeah, I really can't think of any use I have for this right now because I don't have access to a furnace. Which uh, is pretty epic. How much does it even sell for? Oh, I think that's more than the ring? Maybe slightly less. It's not too shabby though. Also, for me, it's a new day. Uh, I started the account yesterday. And, I, and since I woke up, I basically just been trading defense. And man, the XP is so slow. 1.4k an hour. It is absolutely grueling. It'd be nice if I could get a weapon. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention. I got the dagger. Oh my goodness. I was not even paying attention. Oh, I, I hope that's going to speed up kills so much. Actually, I also... Oh, that's a prayer level versus strength. That's actually kind of big. And... Well, not really, because I don't have a way to regain prayer without dying. But... I also got 125, which is kind of cool. Look at us. We're going places. I think I don't think I've killed 120 of them yet. I think that was pretty lucky, actually. Yeah, so this is my kills from today and yesterday. Gosh, I was actually so lucky. The helmet is 1 in 64. The dagger, I think, was 1 in 128. Uh, Close Girl, actually, I think, is as well. Same as the dagger. But, uh, wow. Hopefully, this is going to speed things up. We'll see. Watcha! Actually, I need to look at the stats. I haven't even looked at the stats. Let me, uh... Ooh, wait, this is going so quick? Oh, so I just put on strength, apparently? Don't remember doing that. I did just get a strength level, though, so... Pog champ. Alright, let's check the stats on this bad boy now. Ooh, 
Ooh, plus five stab. Let's go. <laughs> so it's time to address the elephant in the room. The frozen door update. Tomorrow, Jagex are adding a new boss to God Wars Dungeon. Next. I'm recording this on January the 4th, and at this time, not everything is known about the update since it still isn't out yet. Some things are confirmed, like how she'll drop a new God Sword piece, which is obviously a huge interest on this account. There is one huge issue though. In order to start the mini quest to unlock next, you need to complete Desert Treasure, which is a quest that heavily relies on locations outside of my area. I think that since this account is focused on acquiring all of the God Swords, I should allow myself to complete the Frozen Door mini quest, but I'd like to lock it behind my original goal. I think that it would be fitting to make myself get all four of the other God Swords first, since that would keep the original idea of the account intact, and then shift the goalpost to getting the fifth God Sword. I'd love to hear what you all think about this and would really appreciate your opinions.